What's up guys, it's Jess here and welcome back to The Road to Glory and as you can hear, probably in my voice, I am sick. I'm coming down with a monstrous cold and I feel like death. As you can see on the screen right now, we are playing through our squad battles games and unfortunately we picked up, I think it was three or maybe four losses. I was playing on next to no sleep, I was absolutely, I was just knackered and it led to a lot of goals being conceded, a lot of mistakes being made and it really did look like Elite 3 wasn't going to happen which I was very very disappointed about, I was struggling in foot champs and um, there is a couple of foot champions games in um, the end of the episode and I'll show you where we did actually finish um, but yeah some games we absolutely demolished like that one there 7-1 it was a good team and then some games I believe it might have been like no, not this one, but there's a game coming up where we lost 3-1. I just couldn't get going. Um, I had to play eight games after a session of work of 12 and a half hours. So that did put the pressure on. And I was playing eight games after 12 and a half hours of working. It, it wasn't fun. And the day before, we did 20 hours in foot champions. But we did. We did it. We managed to scrape Elite 3. This week I'm looking for Elite 2, the feature squad is Castro's team, as you will see when we claim the rewards, and it is an absolutely, well, it's a disgusting team, um, but hopefully we're going to go and pick up our, our points from that, do well in all the games and qualify, well, for the weekend league, as you can see in that game, we lost 3-2 there, very, very disappointing from us, but unfortunately, it's the way it went, so... We have finished Elite 3, we got the rewards for that, and Foot Champions, I'm going to start talking about Foot Champions shortly, as you can see coming up um, very, very shortly, that's another game we lost 3-1, we should, we should have done better than that, 321 points from that game, not the best, and I believe we lost this game as well, yeah, we lost that game 2-1, poor, poor from us there, and from that point it became frustrating to play um, squad battles. But we did build another squad, a team specifically for squad battles. Now, it's a Bundesliga team. Everything in the team is packed. You will see it later in the video. But we did buy this Bender card. 24,000 coin screen card. And he's going to get a nice upgrade after the weekend. I think as we go into the last um, four or eight games of squad battles. And they were all victories. Which was very, very nice. We did pick up all victories. And then... Um, that was nice to actually do that and that is what solidified our place in Elite 3 for um, squad battles last week. So we're going to go now and jump into some foot champions gameplay and this is where I'm going to start talking about um, the dreadful, dreadful week and um, that actually came out of um, foot champs. Ooh. We got hammered at the beginning and it didn't. It was a struggle to get Silver 2. And Silver 2 I was happy with because we got a Mega Pack. Got a nice amount of coins. And we got a Jumbo Pack as well. So I was going to finish on there. And something in my mind was telling me, don't finish there. Carry on. But I, was, I, I, just, I, I wasn't feeling it. So it's 7 o'clock on the Friday because I was working the weekend. I stopped my games. So I finished 7 o'clock. On the Friday, and I took I took an hour, maybe two hours out, and then all of a sudden I was like, right, okay, let, let's go back in, and we'll play till we lose. We went on a win streak of five or six games, which took us right on the boundary to goal three, which is obviously auto qualification. It's a 50k pack, and I'm not sure what the pack is. I think it's a rare gold pack. I'm not 100% sure, and 30,000 coins. Brilliant. Or oh, it's two mega packs of 50k pack and um, 30,000 coins, which is brilliant. So we pushed for it. We pushed, we pushed, we pushed, we pushed. And to my surprise, we did actually achieve goal three for the weekend. So the two weeks I've played, I finished goal three both weeks. I've never ever done that on FIFA. We didn't do it in FIFA 17. I struggled to get into the weekend league in FIFA 17. And when I did, I struggled to get anywhere above and beyond where I was. So, getting goal three is done as a massive, massive favour because what we've now actually achieved is qualification for this weekend. 
Now, on Saturday, it's my birthday. I'm not going to be playing. I'm going out and I'm seeing on the Sunday. So again, I've got the struggle of trying to fit all my games in on Friday. So it's going to be it's going to be difficult, but it's doable. So I'm going to try and get all my games in. I'll like I said, as you can see on the screen now, we did we did come back to go this game. We were four one down, but we made it five five. But we are going to Luke and getting our eighteen goals, eighteen games. Sorry, in Friday and. Yeah, you come up against some ridiculous players on a Friday because all the pros are playing but because of the Evo system playing late at night I don't know if I was matching up with people from the UK or from other regions but I just went on a win streak and I couldn't stop scoring and it was beautiful it was nice and we got what we wanted as we made that 6-6 six, six. what a game this was by the way ladies and gentlemen um, as we're in the 104th minute here and look at that a cheeky chip from Harry Kane to make it 7-6 but on the whole FIFA's good, coins are good, we're currently sat at a very nice coin total which we'll see probably in the next episode which may be Thursday, maybe Wednesday, I'm not sure it could possibly be tomorrow with marquee matchups coming out if they do then we've got the Screamer SBCs which you will see at the end of this bit of Foot Champions gameplay um, they're coming out and yet yeah, up until rewards have not packed one yet um, but you'll obviously see if we pack anything in the rewards or not we also get the pre-order packs we get the home team of the week pack and we're doing very very well on the account especially considering this is a road to glory it's my style of road to glory yes I use FIFA points where some youtubers are like why are you using FIFA points but it's what I, it's the way I want to do it this is the way my road to glory is gonna run so we go 1-0 down early on in this game and it was a very, very meta team that we came up against. Vardy here gets that ball through to Rashford, and Rashford hits the post as Wijnaldum slots that home to make it 1 1 20 minutes. And, and I'll be very honest, front champions was frustrating me again. A bad clearance from us. Rashford gets that square ball back to Dembele, gets the deflection again, and Martial makes it to 1 20 minutes. In. Now, I'm sitting on a lot of coins, and I can't seem to find the courage to spend them because I'm scared of having no coins. Now, obviously, you've got player of the month that's coming now. We've got team of the year coming up in January. We've got Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And I think, for now, I'm going to sit on the coins until Cyber Monday and Black Friday purely because the market will shift itself. It will go right down bank because there's going to be loads of promos, loads of packs, and players like, I want to hate this in the team, but I don't want to pay like 60-70k for an 81 rated player so my thoughts are let Cyber Monday and Black Friday happen take advantage of that and hopefully reap the rewards of waiting and sitting on coins with Paxanetti I would love to bring in a couple of more icons for the team but where I don't know because at the minute everywhere is nice now I'm kind of hoping Gilfie Sigurdsson has a good game so we can offload this one to watch card it is an investment at the moment his price is declining but I'm hoping few good games cut and inform his price will shoot up make some nice profit I've got his regular card in the club so that's going to be nice to make some profit at the time but we'll just have to wait and see where that goes as we are going to pick up a W here the 88th minute we go 5-3 up um, but on the whole things with the club are good coins are good results and foot champs good and squad battles was a bit squeaky but we did managed to get where we wanted to be um, in the next episode I'm going to probably more than likely take you through the club and um, there's a part at the end of this video where I will show you the Bundesliga team for squad battles and um, like I say everything is pack pulled which is very very nice um, as we're going to open a two, two player pack here just for the banks as we open it we get a board down it's, I can't, it's, it's Slovenia I think correct me if I'm wrong um, Handanovic, 87 rated Handanovic. Um, have we not actually got anything to put in the Serie A team anymore because we pumped it all into um, Player of the Month, Harry Kane. But it's an 87 rated Handanovic who will go and sit in the club for the moment. So here are the Werewolves, Curse, Spiders, Web, and I believe there's another two more. Um, 
that one was quite expensive. It, I didn't have the players. It cost me around 20k because everyone was like, bam, 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 priced up for sales. Wanted to get it done. We did Dracula's 11, but unfortunately, the footage did corrupt, I believe, for that SBC. We didn't actually pack anything in it. Or it might have been in the last video. I'm not entirely sure. Um, uh, all out of uh, at the minute with um, how things have been. But we do go and open our packs for that. And we get a two gold players pack, which I'd already done. A two rare gold players pack, which one's tradable, one's untradable. And then we get the, 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 the 25k pack. We do get... LF made from Japan and yeah you, as, as you know it's just not even worth even with looking at and Brzezinski there who would have made it into the team but we had I think it was Wendell in there who you will see in the next part of the video when we actually go live and um, again no flair nothing special hoping for a Martial hoping for Dembele and it was awful I didn't even stick around to watch the car it was Hurtado um, and we got Moreno who went to the transfer list and I believe is selling at this point in time um, and we open the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack now and just check the promos to see if there was anything nice that had come out but unfortunately still them Electrum Packs waiting for them to disappear I think they'll disappear after the screen promotion again um, no no boards centre defensive mid it was Kondogby and I was hoping with him being a Valencia player that he would solve quite a bit and I believe he sold for like 750 coins and um, the hype around him had gone. Uh, Morales as you can see there he did sell for around 4,000 coins which was very very nice because then players were sought after due to that SBC. Um, as you can see I'm going to list them up now but unfortunately like I said Kondogby doesn't sell for a whole great deal but I think it might have been more of the way how I was listing things because I didn't put him um, like over a certain amount but Morales did pretty much insta sell um, for around 4k I believe it was 4k I'm not entirely sure how much I actually put him up for um, well however much you you see him on the screen for was how much he did sell for um, and we're gonna go and jump into the last two SBCs um, of of this video I'm just I'm gonna quick flick through the transfer list now just as you can see everything did sell I will go through this again in the live part of the video Al Sommer did sell um, and we got Terra from the Deep and Lost in the Labyrinth again this one all untradeable we made about 6,000 coins off players in the club uh, Lost in the Labyrinth again all untradeable players out of the club and we go and open the packs now and unfortunately we don't get anything worth shouting about we don't get a flare in that pack it was not even a rare player but again players all go into the club that russian player and that uh, brazilian player do sell and um, you'll see that in the next part of the video with rare gold pack not even a flare um i can't remember who it was it was uh, marcelo from leon so ladies and gentlemen that is where this part of the video is going to end we're going to go in and claim our squad battle reward so i will see you when we're live So guys, as you would have just seen on the screen before, we look to have finished Elite 3 for the weekend on Squad Battles. Now this is the team we've been using for Squad Battles these last few games. We bought everything in the club, in the team, sorry, is pack pulled by this Bender, 24,000 coins. From what I was seeing, it was up to 30,000 coins, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, nice little bit of profit there, but I think I'm going to keep hold of him. So let's go and claim our Squad Battles reward and see where we did actually finish it says elite one it says elite one every week but we did finish elite three one rare gold pack premium gold players pack jumbo premium gold pack twenty thousand coins that puts us back over 800k castro is the feature squad and it's a beast of a team look at that jesus and i believe he's giving away 12k fifa points if he can beat it at ultimate i'm sorry i don't fancy that challenge we've got the other teams four squad battles i will will go and do them and they will be in the next episode. But what have we got? Daily contracts. What we get? We've got a bronze pack. And we'll start here. So we have, we'll start with the bronze pack. Bronze pack method has been paying out for a lot of people. Not really so much for me. Um, but what are we going to get anything worth? Keep or Oh, he might sell. And let's have a look, in fact, if he does.
I'll stick him up 300. Ooh, nope. 350, sorry. Quicks out the rest. Right, let's get into it. Oh, we've got all in Team of the Week pack as well. Are we going to get anything else? Got promo packs as well, which I'm not going to open. We should have a new SBC at 6, but I'm not entirely sure. What are we going to get? Are we going to get anything decent? I'd like it. French. Right, man. Ooh, Alessandrini. Nice. He is a player I wanted to try. So he could be a super sub for us. Um, very nice. Right, so we have six packs. I'm going to start with this two player pack, which I did from an SBC. I'd love a screamer. I'd love that inform Jesus. What are we going to get? Ooh, it's boards. Poor money, eh? What are you going to get? Something nice. Argentina. Centre back. 80 man. Is that Musaccia? It is an 83 rated, not bad. He can go into the club, and so is Jovetic from Monaco. Um, let's start with the Jumbo Premium Gold Packs. These are the pre-order packs. Come on, EA. Something nice. Oh, it's bored again. Come on. Oh, what are we getting? Is that Peter Schmeichel? I thought it was Eric's in there. I was starting to get really excited about that. Peter Schmeichel. I believe he's a duplicate. Oh no, he's not. Jogi Alka, Barak. I saw Conte on. That can all go into the club. Him and him to the transfer list. Quick sell that for 216 coins. Let's go to pre order pack number two. First one was really nice. Get a board. Are we getting another one? We're not getting another board. But we're getting a rare play, which is nice. It's not all consumables. Is that Sigurdsson? It is. We have his one to watch card. It is an investment. I'm hoping it creeps up in price a little bit. Um, don't think any of that Dembele might sell. Depending on SPCs. All this can go into the club. Sigurdsson can go to the transfer list. We'll keep her. And 240 coins. Now our elite three packs. We're going to start with. What shall we start with? Let's go premium gold players pack. Come on, give us a scare card. A screamer card would be the would be the one. Nah, nothing, nothing. Is it a Martial? Is it a Dembele? Something. English centre mid. Arsenal. Jack Wilshire, 81 rated. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that. But it can all go into the club. And, like I say, SBCs are coming thick and fast for Halloween. We'll go to the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Come on. I want a Screamer card. I really want a pack one. I want to see that walkout. Oh, it's flashy. It's boards. What are we getting no info? German. Goalkeeper. Shall Farman. Not about 84. Who actually... Mm, I'll have to check between him and Berkey to see who goes into that team. If Baker's untradeable, it'll be him. Yarmolenko, Topal. Not a bad a little packer there. We'll get a shadow, that's a nice kit. So everything else can be kept. Not bad at all. And the last pack of this episode is a rare gold pack. Come on, give us a screamer card. It's is that an info? No, it's not, it's boards down. Portuguese, left wing. Jesus Christ. I was about to scream the house down. What a troll. Oh, if that had been Ronaldo. If that had been Ronaldo. Some duplicates there for the transfer list. And we'll keep all of this. Sell that badge. Um, I will also quickly... What promo packs are there? Are they still the Electron packs? Uh, we still have the Jumbo Premium Golds there. Um, buy a contract, keep it on the ground. I'll do them later on um, and see if we get anything out there. We've sold 56 items on the transfer list. As you can see from last episode, we sold Pepe. Everything has been selling. The players from the specific league, SBCs. We sold David Luiz. We sold a pack of Gertz out of a free pack. Um, David Luiz sold for 83k, which is nice. Um... We sold our salmon, we made very little on there. Through the SBC we've sold these players, um, as you saw, the Valencia players and the Levente players. 
couple of SBCs. That Hamza Rostick player was from an SB for an SBC, so it was the Dallas player as well. Everything has sold what needs to sell, so I'm going to clear that off now. I'm going to list everything else on the transfer list. That is where I'm going to end today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed. Please smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe down below, and I'll be catching you next time. Peace.